Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. At 9.57 p.m. Mountain Time on Sunday, October 15th, 2017. Giving you a grand solar minimum update. What you're looking at is the seismic activity in the New Madrid area over the last seven days. Now this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight small quakes. And if we pan out, what happened a little bit earlier today is going to make you take pause, a 3.7 in Manila. So this is clear activity of movement along the New Madrid Fault. And the New Madrid Fault is awakening. So as far as anything else we can tell from this is to just to keep an eye on it. These are precursors to what may be a larger quake. If they continue to increase and there is continued activity in the Appalachians, um, we could get a big heads up here. Um, there are no other space weather events that would suggest that this is going to uh, move in a larger scale anytime soon. However, we'll keep an eye on this because we now have a scale. This is nine quakes in seven days up to magnitude 3.7, and we'll note that. So if we get a swarm of 14 over the next week with a 4.1, we can see an increase in activity, and then we can predict a large quake. So that's just a heads up here. We're going to be watching the New Madrid closely. This is one of our areas of interest because it's specific, specifically related to grand solar minimums and faulting. And if you know the work of John Casey, um, he did a really great synopsis of making the correlations in his new book, Upheaval. So take a look at that book. Google it, John, John Casey, Upheaval. And, and also to get a copy of his Dark Winter. Really good, good read, read. Moving on, Grand Solar Minimum Update. One of the hardest, hardest volcanoes I've had to upload to share with you guys is this Japanese volcano in Kyushu. And that is the Shinmodake volcano. And it, yesterday it erupted with a larger eruption than the initial eruption three, four days ago, the one I couldn't upload. So we'll just show a picture of it right now. We won't show you any video, unfortunately. But this is the second major eruption in, in the last week. This one went a little higher, 2,300 meters into the air. So we are currently pumping tons of ash, more than we were previously, into the atmosphere. This is going to help us cool quicker as we descend into the grand solar minimum, especially into the solar minimum of cycle 24 over the next two years. The cooling is going to be rapid and obvious. Uh, quakes of note in the last 24 hours yesterday, 5.4 struck Mexico on the southern coast, 7.8 kilometers from San Dionisio del Mar, the quake at a depth of 50, 60 kilometers. Um, this is the last thing they need is another large quake around here. Thank God it was a moderate quake, but that's the other quake of note. Big update here on La Palma. Seismic swarms increasing. And this is uh, the caldera here, the catastrophic landslide caldera setting up. Look at the seismic activity in here. I'll leave you links to this chart. So recently, new seismic activity has started under the Cumbre Vieja volcano, which is the historical active volcano of the island, occupying its southern half. Two small earthquake swarms occurred during 8 and 9 and 13th October under the southern part of the island. So the initial swarm is the one that uh, we reported on, and then this swarm uh, just happened in the last 48 hours. So we'll keep an eye on this. There is a mega tsunami hazard. Guys, I gave you links to that. There's tons of videos to watch on this. So if you haven't seen the videos on the La Palma Mega Tsunami, please do so now so that you know what may be coming. If this seismic activity continues to increase, it's a big heads up that this is about to collapse into the ocean and send those tsunami waves our way. So we'll be watching it. There was a no-go zone around Kuyushu Volcano, which is Shinomake, Shinmodake. So... 
The current eruption list stands at 51 worldwide volcanoes, 51 including all shield, cinder cone, all varieties of erupting volcanoes is still at 51, but we're going to keep an eye out because Agung is on the rise. And we have this update here at La Palma. So the number of earthquakes erupting on the surface could be increasing shortly. We're going to be watching, folks. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do so now. I hope you got something out of the video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and I'll be sure to get to them as f fast as possible. Uh, we're going to be keeping an eye on this new Madrid seismic activity. It's a heads up. It is increasing, and if it continues to increase, then we may put a warning out for a, for a quake here. All right? So, guys, have a great evening. Uh, one other thing I want to leave you with is a friend of mine, a different channel. He's in Cork, Ireland. He's right at landfall for Ophelia, which is coming in the next two hours. He's right here in Cork, right in this inlet. And based on the projected path of Ophelia, wind gusts of up to 80 miles per hour should be happening. This is pretty unprecedented for his area. Uh, the wind map is showing it 80 to 90 in the Cork area. And I will be leaving links to his live stream Give him support there. The, the page is a sausage. It's kind of funny. But if you want to see live stream of the Hurricane Ophelia making landfall, it's going to be happening in the next two hours or in about an hour from when this uploads. So check it out. It's going to be in the description box. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. New Madrid's waking up. Shinomake is re-erupted. And La Palma is still active. And the mega tsunami could still happen. All right? It's a big heads up. Be safe.